we are developing Vision Nanny. Uh, it's a AI based platform which provides vision therapy to children with brain based disabilities. So what happens is when the child has a brain damage, they have tough time in understanding what they're looking at. So we provide this therapy through this uh, web platform. So how is uh, how are you using AI into this? How are you employing it? Right. So when it ba when it's a brain uh, based uh, disorders, usually the tough part is customizing the things. So all our activities are highly customized, and not just that. A uh, lot of things are based on the gesture interactions and the object recognition, which becomes easier and very interactive with the child. If it's just become, if, if it's just a screen-based uh, interaction, uh, it may not be translating quite a lot into their learning. So when it bec uh, that's where we are using the real-world scenarios to make it more interactive for the children. So, so you, would you say that AI has been helping a lot when it comes to? Uh, building a platform and uh, further making it work for these children. Do you think there's going to be help by Definitely. I mean, so initially, like when we started, there's like, you know, we didn't look into the use case of AI much. Yeah. We started as a simple platform, a tech-based tech platform, translating what's there in the Kleenex yeah. and uh, making it easily available on devices. But when we started integrating AI and, like, you know, started looking at the translating more of, a, like, getting the use case of the real-world scenarios, because that is quite important, like, you know, the interaction with the caregiver and the child uh, interacting with the you know some movements because when you call when you say vision it is not just about you know looking at something how you're coordinating uh, touching something like re reaching out for your hand your, your emotion inter uh, interaction interacting with your facial emotions and all so, so how do you see the global technology is some way organized by Carnegie how is it helping people understand AI and what sort of discussion you had here what what is the output you're taking from so, like, when we work in silos, right, we tend to miss out on the larger picture. Like, even though we keep learning from here and there, uh, these are some of the challenges behind our control. But, when, uh, like, when we are here and understand that we have a voice to say that, you know, this is what we are struggling with, it feels very warming. Like, I'm happy that, like, Carnegie is doing that uh, thing. So they are trying to represent, uh, take our uh, use cases and see that how does it even make sense in the larger perspective.